Welcome to ECN Trade Daily Video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello everyone, my name is Rob Clayton and thank you for joining me. Presently, the Australian dollar is still attempting to break higher as it challenges the level of 66.25. A clearance from there would give further scope up towards 67 cents. With any pullback, views of support around 65.65. Although there is some divergence seen from the RSI to support of bearish case, the MACD is bullish along with the ADX. Meanwhile, looking ahead today, all eyes turn to the Reserve Bank of Australia. It is widely expected that the RBA will keep rates on hold at 4.35%. Nevertheless, the statement will be crucial in to see how dovish or how hawkish and how the RBA will talk about whether keeping rates on hold while some speculate a possible rate cut this year. Overall, I do believe that rate cut is still on the table, but maybe as far out to December. Moving on to the euro, the US dollar index, which measures the green bank strength against the basket of six major currencies, ended flat in New York at 105.10. Still, I'm looking for a further gain in the euro and up towards the region of 108 2025, which could progress further back to the highest seen in February at 109. The dollar index has broken down and therefore looks towards the region of 103. The dollar yen is attempting to regain to a bullish bias after last week bouncing close to that 151 and a half area. Given the fact that the technicals are negative, I still feel the market can potentially move lower and therefore this recovery could give opportunity for adding new positions to a bearish case and therefore look to 151.5 or lower to 150.5. As all eyes look towards Super Thursday, that is the Bank of England's rate decision, which is widely expected to keep rates on hold, keep an eye on the statement to see whether or not they start discussing rate cuts this year. Overall though, from a technical point, the market is bullish and therefore looks towards the region of 126 to 127. And given the fact it has been slightly whipsawed, I still feel any pullback will be shallow and keep to a firmer bullish bias. A rebound in gold also now coming through as it just breaks through that trend line, which was seen short term. But I still feel there is further upside pressure towards the region of 2,330, which saw good supply returning. Given the lackluster technicals, I feel the market is still destined to move lower and still holds towards 2,250. Wrapping up with all, slight bounce around this trend line. Seeing as $78 a barrel could see further weakness into the coming session, that is, in reverse the gains and look back to its potential target of $75. Well, that's a wrap. Thank you for joining me. And as always, look out for the intro report. I hope you enjoy the great start to the day.